they 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 made this better. <laughs> Thank you, Bliss, for that. I know most people probably won't even notice that part, but I can tell you right now, I am very happy to have these different colors and bigger and just better. Um, though they're no big and brushing up against my bags, but it's okay. So I live with it. Uh, maybe we... Well, anyway, what's new? Dawn of the Infinite. That's the big mega dungeon. I won't be able to do that for a while. Augmentation, I'm not going to do that. Unraveling timeways. I am going to be doing the time rifts and the answer friend stuff, so that's all on the agenda to do. Um, apparently there were achievements I earned. Um, so cool. I Draconically epic. Draconically superior, I guess. New, new gear achievement points. Okay, cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. Shooting post enthusiast. Oh, it's you get that after a year. Okay, right. We know that that's not new. Um, dragon riding glyphs. What's the dragon riding glyphs? Um, it looks to be the same about uh, lands blessing ground skimming. Did they change it? I wasn't even paying attention to that, so I guess they changed it. Anyway, happy to see it. I don't know if they made it better or worse. What's in my mailbox? Oh. Pets that didn't sell in the auction house. Fine. I'll take care of you later. Um. What was that? Cheer hole drape? I guess so. I think there's stuff I didn't take care of last week. Oh, what? Uh, oh! Hello. Look. Look. Is tell me this little cutie's name is Flaps. Tell me its name is Flaps. Feldrak and Messenger. Well, I don't I don't know I don't know what it's telling me though. Ah, yes, it was what I hoped. Um Eggs in abundance. Flaps does a spin and deposits a drool soaked note into your hand. Arleia, the ruby life pools are overwhelmed with dragon eggs ready to hatch. We are excited to welcome these blessings to Azeroth, but we do not have enough whelp tenders to mine them all. Please visit me at the live shrine so we may discuss a potential solution. Amelia. Or Amela. Is it Amela? Amela. Amelia. Whatever. Um, meet. I'm at the Ruby Life Shrine in the Waking Shores. Unlock the Wealth Daycare. I'm definitely doing that very soon. So I'm going to accept the hell out of that one. Um, because that is definitely a thing I need to do today. I'm going to put some poison on. So, one thing. I just realized I had my Be Right Back screen on. Oh, that's a lot of footage I didn't get. Anyway, I picked up a bunch of quests. And I really haven't completed any of them yet. Um, kind of sad. I'm, I'll be able to catch some of the other characters. I'll be doing them too. But I'm a bit sad that I didn't capture me picking up the quests. But all right. I'm not even sure which one I'm on now. I have no excuse for why I didn't notice that. Other than I was so focused on killing. And I didn't have OBS up. And the screen I'm supposed to be watching is behind me. Tonight. But now, now I'm here. Now I am playing. I am playing the game that I'm supposed to be playing. Wow, okay. That was like a good maybe know how long how much time I spent doing that nonsense anyway there's a bunch of quests to pick up I don't have a target I 
I picked up all the quests that were available except the daily. I am going to do the daily. At least we'll get that. Um, but I don't think these are dailies. I think these are the intro quests to the whole what are you doing in this area stuff. I hope I got the wealthlings. I hope I got the wealthling stuff. I think I did because I didn't do the pay right back screen for that. What is here? That's not what I wanted, but what is here? There's the hourglass. Okay, this is for Chromie. Chromie asked me to set these hourglasses down. And there's a few of them spread around that I have to have to find. Um... I think where I met, why I messed that up was because what I've been doing is not putting my Be Right Back screen on. <laughs> the few times that I've gotten up tonight. Like, what dungeon's there? There's never been a it's Dawn of the Infinite. It's the, uh... It's the Mega Dungeon. Some of the beasties that came through the time rifts here ended up in bad places, like these poor wee kitties. I'm not doing Go that. i save them. I'm not doing that one. Alright. So the hourglasses are for Kurami. On borrowed time. Wait, what's that? Uh, I'm out of. Oh, you're in my way, that's why I can't freaking see it. I think this is the last hourglass. I think that's the last hourglass. Line the sand, borrow time. Okay, so this is directly related to this is Kurumi. Um, now Stormu showed up in Ian's fringe and you found out why he wanted to meet you separately. Um, it didn't make sense. I'm not going to the primalist future, am I? Um, no. You find out He's worried about Alex Strasso, that she's been upset, upset lately. So there's, there's now the portal. Now it's a place to go into. Are these the creatures I'm supposed to kill? I don't think so. I don't think that's it. I don't think that's... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm lying in the sand. Okay, did that. So where do I go now? Um, 
Meet me there when you're done. Here? I'm only knowing, going here because I see other people there. There we are. Huh. Who are you? Now our lady is here. What is going on? Hmm. Interesting. It's so nice to see you. Can you please explain what's going on? I came here to find out who is twisting our time ways only to find myself. Well, not me, me, but another me. A line in the sand. Good luck on your next adventure. Crummy listens to your explanation of what you've been doing. Her eyes wide. Me? From the future? Why? She's one of the, my top three people to trust. That doesn't make sense. Why would she want you to distort the time ways to help Ms. Dormu? Seems like it would just give him a headache. Until next time. What's this? Time lost essence. An epic extractor? Good luck on your next adventure. Not sure what this all is, but I suppose I'll find some use for it. Best not to let it go to waste. We'll meet again. One result of your time realignment is that it seems to have summoned me? Well, alternate timeline versions of me. I've never seen so many chromies in one place. And while they all may be cute, <laughs> they're, they're playing havoc on the local timeways. We need to trap them to synchronize their time signatures. Maybe then they'll be able to tell us what's going on. Trap alternate chromies in time stasis. It's been a pleasure. Well, just throw the trap and they'll do the rest. Just like, just kind of tastes like lavender. It's the color, not the plant. I mean, on the upside, at least, um, I'm recording now. I mean, I'm, I don't have my, I keep checking to see if my be right back screen is still on for several hours. Ah, oh, I hate that. I hate, I hate when that happens. It's something when I do it for a few seconds, that was possibly a good hour. Cause I like wash dishes and everything. Went to the bathroom, wash dishes, got ice cream, and then picked up every single quest. All right, what am I doing? Alternate Chromie investigated. There's a chromie. Wait a minute. <laughs> Kathomi. <laughs> Kathromi. Kathromi says, Gufka, yeah, we, we know what that is. Chromie. A giant chromie. All right.
swimming and little me's running around. But where's that one that pulled me here? Who's the one that pulled, pulled me here? We need to have a big talk. At least they're easy to find. Cronor Moo! Cronor Moo! We should not be here. She should not be here. It goes against natural order. Okay, so one more. Chrome E. Awaiting your input. Mechanome. Calibrating timeline occurrence. Speculating you have been fooled. Me? Right. I think this is one that I still haven't trapped. What the? Is funny. Chronosaurus makes distressed roaring noises while eyeing you with confusion. Some of the beasts that came through the time rips here ended up in bad places, like these poor wee kitties. Go on and save them. Chronomu? Damn it. I had a feeling this was too too high populous a place to not get away with having to kill some extra stuff in the way. Alright, so we're gonna lay this down. That one didn't even say anything. Might have been a bug out. No. Is it underneath? It's right over here. Okay. Where she was. It's like meeting again Chromie listens to your report time. about about the alternate Chromie about what the alternate Chromie has told you. Her eyes go wider. Oh no! We've been tricked! That Chromie for the future isn't a future Chromie at all. She's an alternate timeline me. Just like the rest of the Chromies running around. Why would she lie to you? Okay. I knew something was very weird about how she spoke. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to pick up on that or not. But I had my suspicions. 
Anyway. Until next time. Morchi mayhem. It's Morchi. We need to get to the bottom of this future chromy business. Just where is that dragon? She needs to explain herself. Let's start by inspecting some of her, of her temporal hourglasses. Maybe that will give us a clue. Investigates the false future chromy. Take care of yourself out there. Ha! Figured it out, did you? A little too late. You're working with the infinite? What a terrible chromy! It's Morty, you brat. And yes, the time has come to bring about Murazon. Wanna stop me? Catch me if you can! So yeah, there's some discussion of the fact that uh, Morchi doesn't turn into a dragon. Morchi rides on a dragon. So that means that is interesting. I don't know if they'll explain it, but let, maybe we'll find out. Flew in here. Oh, hello. It's an infinite dragon. I need to get closer. No named infinite dragon. Time for this. They definitely changed progress bars. They definitely did something. All right. Anyway. Well, at least we stopped Morchi's accomplice. Those infinite drags are always causing all sorts of trouble. But we can't rest until Morchi herself is captured and sent packing back to her own crummy timeline. That crony. Marchi didn't just teleport herself away. She took all the other cromies with her. I have a bad feeling about why. We have to follow and capture her and question her. I want to know what she's up to. Capture Morchi and question her. The time was Okay. I'll try to find her. Aha. Oh. Well. Ha. <laughs> All right. So we have Crow me. Take a good look at this. We have Chromey. We have Chrome E. Chronormy. Old Chrome. Chronormu. Someone over here who's uh Great to meet ya. Okay, wait, I'll go I'll get there in a second. Chromey. So I can ask Who are you? Nosy nosy. Does Chrome does the Chromey of this time I know allow to ask such questions? Have you not considered what havoc such knowledge could cause? Just know that I am not your enemy, Arlea. But she 
but she does stand among us. Do you seek socialization? Who are you? I am Krogi. The context of your understanding, in the context of your understanding, you may surmise that I am much like the Kromi you have befriended. However, I have chosen the perfected form of a mechanome. More information would breach timeline and creep protocols. Your compliance on this matter is appreciated. I understand. Thank you. Iteration is the key to success. How may I aid you? Who are you? So I chose to be a gnome in this timeline. How strange. I have chosen to protect the balance of time through the form of a tauren. As you know, dragons choose their visage based on their own desires and experiences. I find it hard to imagine myself making any other choice. I'm curious why the chromo chromie of this timeline chose the visage of a gnome. Perhaps there will be s time later to speak of such things. I understand. Thank you. May the eternal sun shine on you. <laughs> <laughs> My, you're a tall one! Looks like this timeline ain't big enough for all of us. Who are you? Well there, partner. Ain't that a question. <laughs> There's so much I can say. My past, my present, my hopes, and the future. Why such a quandary could take your lifetime to answer. But you ain't got time for all that right now. Just know I am a straight shooter, though, and through and through. To find my straight shooter through and through. I would never do a darn thing to harm the timeline. You hear? I understand. Thank you. Who, oh, me? I'm just super sweet, definitely normal friend Chromie. Who are you? Oh, well, you know everything you know about Chromie. Pretty much the same goes for me. Only, I'm even more normal than her, even sweeter, even more of a good person who would never trick or harm a living soul. And protecting the timeline, why, that's my middle name. Makes signing documents quite a chore, but I'll do anything for the greater good. I understand, thank you. I mean... Has has guilty as heck written all over her? <laughs> Crow Normie. But I'm gonna go on out on a limb here. Because this one mining over here is super sus. And is standing near a portal. So I'm just gonna go. How are you? You're actually Morchi in disguise. What, Morchi? I have no idea what you're talking about. But could you take this, take this little party us or mining my mining here? Keep your feet on the ground. Okay, it wasn't her. I was sure that it would be. I mean, if I'm going to accuse anyone, it, it's got to be Crow Normie. Oh, you're actually more cheap this guy. Time ways must be. So, I'm, I'm, oh, sure. You can interrogate me. Or you could go save your precious bronze temple. The temple? What are the infinites planning? We shall ensure the rise of our master, Marazond. And the longer you stand here talking to me, well. Give me a lift. All right. I can't go beyond this point, really. Because this is, I think, what leads to the Mega Dungeon. I'm pretty sure this is what leads to the Mega Dungeon. We're here, Nostormo! Too late for me, I'm afraid. The infinite dragonflight has already entered the temple. It's never too late. We can still stop them. We are not giving up on you. <laughs> Ever the optimist, Kronomu. Yes, we must try.
It's so nice to see you. We can't give up now. There's still time to save the temple and beat those infinites once and for all. We can't let them control the true control the true timeline. And I certainly will not let them turn those Dharma into nasty Murazad. Complete quest. Is this goodbye or hello? I keep losing track. Yep. So again, I have too many flight stones. <laughs> again, I have that issue. Kona Lordius must be behind this all. As leader of the infinites, he's sure to have... He's a leader of the infinites? Okay. Um, he's sure to have... I didn't realize he was in charge. As leader of the infinites, he's sure to have led this invasion... I bet more chiefs working for him, too. What? Oh. Let's head into the Bronze Temple. We need to stop Deus before he ruins the true timeline. Defeat Chrono Lord Deus. We'll meet again. I've seen it. Unfortunately, I can't do anything more there. I'm pretty sure that's... You can't do that. Dawn of the Infinite Chronolith. Yeah, it's a dungeon. If I, it's in my map. Yeah, dungeon. I can't queue for it. Um, I have to wait for a group to go in, and then I can do that. So that that quest line is at an end for now. So I am now going to finish up the other stuff here. And I had, okay, what's over at number two? I had to go to the everywhere end. Let's do this first. I had to get stuff for Ironus. And Finn Gurgle. So, when I first entered this area, and I don't remember if I was filming or not yet, but we'll find out. There is... A Murloc Anduin, Finduin Rindungurgurgle, who remembers you when, um, and I don't, I'm guessing you may have had to do that quest to get, to do, get this, I don't know. Um, I've done it, so it's done. Um, but he remembers when you should have been as Murloc, you know, the, uh, the Murloc alternate timeline. Oh. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right. Um, unexpected. Um, too far away. Unexpected. Old oh god shit. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Oh, I must be in a rift. Okay, so this is what happens. You just plunk right down in there and you're in a rift. All right. That's how it works. Got it. So we're, we're dealing with uh, old god stuff. I wasn't quite expecting to get attacked immediately upon landing. <laughs> that was surprising. Now I now I know. You learn. I don't have a target. What is this? Fell sleep. Okay. So it looks like we have a combination of fell and old god shit. What is going on? Whatever it is, there's a lot of them. And it's starting to annoy me. Do not need to do all that. I would like to take a moment to just, like, stop and assess and figure out what I'm even doing here. Okay, it's a percentage. Percentage clearing thing. Got it. Don't have a 
target. I do need to go on this the the stone achievement at some point. But I'm pretty sure this is one of them. Here we stand and here we gather both beneath wind and sky. Joined as one forever after beheld by dragon eyes. Should any serve to break the bond that binds them strong and true, both tooth and claw of dragon kind shall dole them out their due. Soul to soul and heart to heart, they now live on as one. Wing to wing, they teach to the sky as their journey's just begun. Together bound. It sounds like a wedding vow. I wonder who it's I wonder who it's from. I might have wonder who it's for. I want to... Let's overload this. Wow, that was weird. That's a weird graphic thing that happened there. I didn't open up a portal, huh? Okay. Fair enough. It is too far away. I could have sworn I sap. Make me use my bombs. Right. I'm not looking at what I'm actually gathering for him. L four W G one V three R Mecha Key. Celestial carrot, larval quintessence. I failed her. They're referring to Fell Queen. I wonder who the Fell Queen is. Really? That was the cheers of a loon. Oh, we got void shit now. of summon nation. Ooh. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill that. Vile of the vile of the fun swell. I'm 
I'm gonna try to kill that. That was Book of Mi some Book of Medieval. <laughs> The coffee stained skull of Dulgan. Treasures. Look. Black blade of Cornet, that's a sword. Well, I got an appearance, so cool. I'll take it. Alright. What else do I need to do? I got mail. Alright, I have to go back to our friend. Nah. See you later, dudes. <laughs> I am so mad again that I left my be right back screen on. So I keep looking to make sure I'm like I didn't do it again, did I? I didn't do it again. I just lost a bit I've lost me picking up a lot of these quests. That's what I lost. But it's fine. Don't you go run into that time lock again. We'll get more than a broken sword out of the bargain, lad. So. Ah, good thing. Ar good timing, Arlea. Finduin's been getting restless. And would you look at that hammer? Alright. So. He recognizes you when you were in Asmerloth. <laughs> He's Baker. He was just a little guy. Um, iron is cold steel. I'm going to look at these over again. Why is Finn doing here? To get his sea shell main repaired, of course. <gasps> With all these time rifts hearing into... It's, the, it's by the sound of Sinodun's babbling. A rift tore open to Asmerloth and discharged the first magic that struck Sea Shillamane and tore the blade asunder. Why should Forge lie behind Time Lock? Well, probably, as that wouldn't change much. Well, well I wouldn't be saying if I knew, well, probably, as it wouldn't change much. My must have been locked after I left the Isles. Anything could have happened between 10,000 years ago and now. That makes sense. I had something else to discuss. For the Horde! I swear, by the heat of the forge, if any of those wretched looters broke into my crates and took anything, I'm going to... Well, we bronze dragons have all sorts of techniques, don't we? Oh, thank the time waves. You found my stuff. Iron is hardly examines possessions. To some, these relics may seem like rubbish, but to me, they're all treasures. Oh, and don't worry about the rest of the crates. Once those time rifts are dealt with, they'll head over and get them back in the vault. It's worth flight stones, but I'm not getting any because I'm maxing on flight stones. I got nothing to use flight stones on. Chrono hammer time. You found what coming out of those time rifts? Well, that ain't good. I'll be sure to flag Tempo down and let her know. I should have to think what would happen if we allowed more of those creatures to run rampant into our timeline. Looks like you handed them nicely, though. I can feel the temporal energy is radiating off my hammer from here. Ten more flight stones I can't use. If a hammer can break a lock, 
Now that the hammer is all charged up, all we need is to take one big swing at the time lock and boom! Nothing breaks a temporarily crafted anomaly like a temporarily charged hammer. I'll just trust you on that. We just need to account for possible sundering of time and... Whoops. Ironus hesitates for a moment as he makes a few calculations under his breath before he looks at you with a not-so-confident smile. Tell you what, you earn this. You do the honors. Shadow the time lock with the Chrono Forged Hammer. I won't even get anything for it, except for the gold. You sure about this? Alright, your tightness. Stand back and shield your eyes. Your tightness. I'd say it's about time we get this time lock off my forge, wouldn't you agree? Okay. So, you can trust me with this. Alright. Finden lets out a worried gurgle as he backs away from the forge. Finden gurgles in panic as the sword is carried away by the forge elementals. Slagneros, Slagneros, yells, Too long, you have kept me trapped for too long, dragons. Eon's fringe shall burn. Iron is cold, no says, By the time ways, that's no good. Hurry, Finden, get inside. Iron just carefully inspects the forge for a moment, his expression hardening as he realizes what's missing. They took Sichelamain and the heart of me time forge. Those ashy wretches. Alright. Okay, he doesn't say Finduin doesn't say much else. Uh, first Finduin's sword gets swiped, and now the heart of my fine tar fine, the heart of my time forge is gone. What a mess! If a hammer can break a lock, well, that certainly went according to plan, didn't it? Shattered without a blip or quiver in time. I had zero doubts. Fortunately, it seems those elementals were a wee bit restless and took off the first chance they got. One problem extinguished, a dozen ignited complete quest. First Vinduin sword gets swiped and now the heart of my time forge is gone. What a mess. By time fire be purged. And sword stealing searers. That big old slack. By time fire be purged. Oh I get stuff. I do get stuff. I get a companion. I get flight zones I can't actually get. That big old slag elemental has taken the heart of my forge. Without it, a time forge is just, well, a forge. That's no use to a chrono smith. Even if we had C. Chalamain, I wouldn't be able to prepare it. Such power cannot be allowed to remain in the possession of that, that molten moron. The other element is took off for the towers. I bet half my beard. The big one's close by, too. Retrieve the heart of the Time Forge. Sword stealing seers. Those grubby forge spawns knocked Finduin right over and took C. Shelamane. They must have sensed the temporal energies lingering on the sword. I can't can't imagine what they'd want with it. There's no time to wait and see. Everything you've done won't mean much if I don't have Finduin's blade to fix. Could you fetch it for me? After all, the fate of Asmaloth depends on it. Retrieve Finduin's blade, see Shilamane. I should have carried the heart of Asmerloth with me. Anyway. Gills up, lad. Have a wee bit faith in this young night elf here. They've proven reliable thus far. They've proven reliable thus far, haven't they? Come, let's take stock of the damage to the rest of me workshop. Finduin glances at our lair for a moment, offering a confident nod before following the Chronosmith.
Okay. We've got ten minutes on our poison blades. I'm gonna, gonna actually beef myself even more. Take a flask. Alright, let's finish this up. It looks like this part is going to be the end of this whole intro to Eon Fringe and Anomalies and whatnot. And folks from the past needing help. Oh, no, no, no. This is not where I need to be. Unless they're upstairs. Are they upstairs? They are upstairs. Okay. Pidgey, please, you have to get up. I can't. I'm dead. I've died. Do you want some coffee? Will that perk you up? Maybe. <laughs> Good fortune to you. Six feet no. Maybe. Alternating three over three. The doom Time told sig many signatures. Secrets. I now I now know what he's referring to. State your business. Thanks for talking to Tempo. Peggy can be temperamental, but his heart is in the right place most of the time. Understood. Look at all these flight stones I'm not getting because I'm maxed out on flight stones. Peggy's being dramatic again. I know it seems childish, but that's because it is childish. But he responds well to little treats when he's in a mood. Could you get him a coffee from the bar downstairs? Get Peggy a drink from the inn's bartender. Free and clear. Sure, I can do that. I'm supposed to be doing something else, but... <laughs> but I can get a coffee real quick. Hey, Bob. Single black coffee. I'm going to also sell you some crap, because... I don't have all the things our pawn on, so I don't know. I can't tell if I have appearances yet. But let's go upstairs and get the coffee. Here you go. Give Pidgey a single black coffee. I'll never finish this piece. What's the point? Okay, fine. But I'm not doing anything until I finish this. No sugar? <laughs> this is going to take a while. Are you in need of assistance? Peggy's treat should, should get him to stop moping. By the Titans. I can't believe I had to say that. Time for an equipment check. I knew musicians were a temperamental sort. But this is ridiculous. At least ease up. Complete quest. Build it, test it, it, deploy it. Da I said damn it because it's like I'm gonna get more flights. I'm gonna win more flight stones. I'm not. I can't actually get. Uh, you see that tempo mentioned objects from other timelines. I have a device used for syncing melodies. Strangely enough, it seems to have the same effect on timelines in this town. Absolute side effect of the chaotic temporal energies here. I've upgraded Peggy's glasses to allow him to observe the rhythms of the world. They may make it easier to find mistimed entities. Ask if you can borrow them. Use Melly's device near objects from other timelines. Peggy's sunglasses will make them easier to find. Keep me updated. Please follow protocol. Your mind is your sharpest weapon. Can I borrow some of My glasses? Oh no, I never take these off. It's my signature look. Extremely important for every artist. But I do have a spare hair you can borrow. <laughs> Trying to see the rhythms of the world, huh? I wonder what would happen if you used Melly's device on things that don't match at the feet. Something's interesting. I'm something interesting, I'm sure. One day at a time, friend. Surviving means being resourceful. I 
how much rest you could possibly get upstairs. Is there doors on anything? I guess this is one of the things. I'm just doing this because this one's here, but I'm gonna go finish up the other. Oh, someone in the group I run with wants to do the new dungeon. I'm not prepared to do it yet. I'd love to do it tonight, but I don't want to start at 10 o'clock. Um. Wow, there's a lot to do. Haha! -ha! I was just looking for you. Oh, you have you throw me back. That's one of your tricks? Damn it. I took him out that easily. We're fine. So I got the heart of the forge. Got it. That was not as difficult as I thought it might be. I'm like doing two quests at the same time because I don't know which which things are associated with what. Time flies. Ha 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 ha. Then at some point, I gotta remember, I gotta find Alex Chaza. Um, because there's that quest in Nosdorma who asked me to go find her. Because she's looking a little down. It's interesting. I came in here when I first arrived here and I was like, what is this? Oh, more time flies. Right. When you're having fun. Make sure we don't have this cabbage anomaly happening. <laughs> Fix your anomalous cabbages. Alright. Well, 
leg. And there's more anomalies here. Alright, they've moved back. They're back here now. Well, that's where they were. Observe and report. Looks like the mistime objects are back in their proper place. One less thing to temp for Tempa to worry about. Hmm. Interesting data here. Perhaps it'll come in handy later. Apologies that Peggy hasn't been much help. Probably best to muster up his resolve. This is his song to compose, after all. Keep me updated. Compose yourself. I promise he's not always like this, but he is often like this. <laughs> Usually takes him a few days to come out of his funk. We don't have that sort of time. The commission he got to write the song won't last forever. Maybe we can spend to be at the process. Would you help raise Peggy's confidence? Raise Peggy's confidence. Stay alert. How do I raise his confidence? Situation normal. I have for such a talented composer, Peggy sure does struggle to find harmony sometimes. Best to keep him out of trouble. Your mind is your sharpest weapon. Oh, okay. I don't know. What if I'm just... Oh, God. Poor dude has got imposter syndrome. Alright. I'm helping out. I don't know. What if I'm just a fraud? Who might deserve the attention of a bronze dragon for something as frivolous as a song? If you were a fraud, you wouldn't be here. Bronze dragons have all the time in the world. I wouldn't worry about wasting theirs. Songs aren't frivolous, and I bet a dragon would love would love to help with something that isn't a world-ending threat for once. You need to get up. I'm, I'm going to go with this one. Maybe you're right. What if there's nothing to find here? What if this whole search for inspiration is procrastination? Hey. Have you looked out the window? There's nothing but inspiration out there. If it is just procrastination, that's all the more reason to get up and get over with. Mm -hmm. Every creative endeavor is an uneven journey, but not moving, but not moving is the only way to guarantee you won't make it to your destination. Seriously, you need to get up. I'll try a little bit more than that. Yeah, but what if after all this, tempo can't even help me? What if, what if they don't even like music? That seems unlikely. Then you'll write a song about your disappointment. I mean, their name is Tempo. Come on! Remain calm in the face of danger. Okay, you're right. I should go out there. That's the spirit. I will find what I need for this place. Exactly. I'm the greatest composer that ever lived. Uh, okay, calm down. Well, he's gone. We should make sure he's not causing trouble. Where did he go? Or it's... Oh, there she is. I was like, where'd you go? She just disappears. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll come back to that. Let's finish up. Well, we're not even quite done with this yet. Alright, back to this. By time fire be purged. Those confounded elements must have come from the heart from the heart of my forge. Was it destabilized somehow? Either way, it's bad news. Every Kronos was worth their minute <laughs> knows you don't mix elemental and temporal energies. You don't, do you? Ironus clutches his chest in relief with, with a beaming smile. I didn't dismount, interesting. That was a close call. Can you imagine Yon's fringe burning down shortly after I arrive? How embarrassing. And look at that. One of those wee elementals from before seemed to have taken a liking to you. You're free to keep it. In fact, I insist. Keep it. I don't want it. Okay, I want Kablooey.
That's adorable. And I love it. Is it favorite? Oh, I can't add them to the... Shit. Because my, my add-on's not working, I can't add them to the leveling queue. Boo! Alright. I'll have to find him later. Anyway. He's, he's summoned. I feel like I'm running out of jokes, almost like I'm burnt out. I tell you, when I'm cooking up some more, I'll tell you more when I'm cooking up some more. Oh my god, it tells bad jokes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so I have to go and retrieve C. Chalamet. Ah. Oops. I have. I still haven't done the daily yet, but I will. I'll take another break. Make sure that I. Get see Chalamet. I thought it might at least look someone like Chalamet, you know? It looked like a janky old sword. Well, then again, it it might be repaired right now, so it might be improved very shortly. Here we go. All right, Finduin. Like time moths to the chrono flame, those we elementals were drawn to see Chalamet. That rhymes. Slam rhyme. I can only hope the damage done to it is minimal. Continue. Thank the time we as you retrieved sea Chalamet before those fiery creeps could cause lasting damage. The blade is a bit burnt, but nothing I can't hammer out. The edge you're in one piece as well. A few char marks I see, but nothing you can handle. Wear that soot like a badge of pride it is. Receive flight stones I won't receive and gold. Worth it though. You remember. You remember. You're right. Right you are, Finduin. The time has come to repair your blade. But first, let's reignite this old beauty. Of course we're going to watch this. Now stand back and let this Colonel Smith do his job. It does look like it. It's Shalamine. Look at that. That's awesome. What do you mean? Is that it? Of course that is it. Your blade is as good as, your blade is as, good as new. Better I'd say. <laughs> Finduin takes the blade from the the, the iron from Minus and examines it closely. I have no intention of visiting Asmaroth anytime soon. I'm sure our Leia is far too busy. I'll get going before you get me all sentimental. Temple will see you return to your proper timeline. With the newly forged sea Chalamet in hand, Finduin Ringugal bobbles his head in thanks and races out the forge toward his destiny. Uh, thanks again, Arlena. Don't forget to check out my wares. I'm sure I have I'm sure I have a few tools of time lost patterns scattered around here somewhere. Okay. So I could actually go to him and ask for stuff. Okay, let's actually ask. Don't forget to check out my wares, Arlea. I've got a few spare tools and several time lost patterns. Why did you take the visit of form of a dwarf? If I'm being truthful, it wasn't my first choice. I met the Earthen during the construction of the Dragon Isles. Ha! Huh. You are old! A mighty folk. Their dedication to their forges and craft was admirable. So when my visage day came, I chose the form of the Earthen. Seemed especially fitting for a fledging Clorno Smith, but you're a dwarf, not an Earthen. Well, you have to remember, the earthen buried deep 
and vanished after the sundering shook the world. Lifetimes passed as I traveled through the timeways, carrying out my charge as a chronosmith. The time came for a group of fleshy, hairy earthen to emerge from Uldaman. I had forgotten how much I missed me old, long-gone friends. I took them a wee bit to get established. But when they did, I took on a dwarven form, left the chronosmiths in good order, and decided to retire in Ironforge. Before... Before I was called back to the Dragon Isles, that is. That makes sense. It's a little discuss. Don't I recognize you from somewhere? Ironus offers a coy grin. That depends. Do you ever spend time in the Great Forge? I spend many years training the finest blacksmiths around the art of weaponsmithing. I may have retired, but I still needed a source of income. Smithing was already my craft, and I found I may could make some, some mighty good coin off it. Sometimes too much coin. Oh, okay. I have to go check out Ironforge. I, I mean, I've been there a million times, but I don't remember his name. But if he's the one I think he is, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. All right. That's cool. I mean, they're kind of doing this anyone could be a dragon but you not know it thing which is cool in a way it's got plenty of dwarves to play with one of them could be a dragon all right so now we have compose yourself all right and that's the end of that quest and then i have to go find alex Tressa. do i think i have to go oh no that's a rift all right. Vulgen's mojo. Wait. What is going? Why is Vulgen's mojo attacking me? What is going on? I was just stopped here because this is what, near where the quest, the uh, quest turn in seemed to be. And there was something I could dig. And I get attacked by Vulgen's mojo. I don't have a target. Why is his mojo here? Why is Vulgen's mojo here? What, what is his mojo doing randomly on this piece of land? And what are you? Time slime. Well, I'm going to ignore you, time slime. Where is... There we go. Greetings. I found some trouble. <laughs> Trust your instincts. I spent the last hour trying to come up with some more slime rhymes. Whoa, that's another one. Slime dies when you're having fun. Rhyme lies when you're killing slimes. Hone right. your senses. They're your greatest tool. I hate that the reward for the all these are flight stones secrets. and I'm not getting any of them. One day at a time, friend. Right. I didn't really read those quests so much. But I'm gathering time slime and I'm killing slimes. So that's what I'm doing. Oh yeah, they make little versions of themselves. That's my favorite kind of enemy. Because killing them once is not as much. <sighs> I need a target. Well, I mean, that took care of six out of twelve of them, so I can't really complain. Too far 
way. I don't have a target. I was right. Yeah, I've got too many. Definitely use that item. I need a target. I still have to do the daily and I still have to do what do you have for me remain calm in the face of danger trust your instincts well I'm a metronometer now we just need someone to test it how can I be of service well Peggy had you killing slimes I asked the investigators here how we can actually help Seems quite a few of them are stuck in time anomalies. Luckily, I've just finished giving the metrono metronographer a few temporal upgrades. We should now help with the investigators get, get help the investigators get back in sick. But we need to test it out first. Looks like there's someone nearby who will do the trick. Test the upgraded metronometer. Understood. The investigator behind us is stuck mid-jump. Let's start with him. Wow. It, no it almost looks like he's falling. Yes. Yes, Peggy. That's what happens after you jump. What can I help you with? Oh. This is the one I'm supposed to try on. Greetings. <laughs> Peace be with you. My leg! Oh, that's not good. <laughs> He's still talking to me. Oops. Uh, I guess he was falling, not jumping. Don't worry, we can fix this. A few more investigators are still desynchronized. I'll leave it to you. Just try not to break any more legs, hero. Look. I don't think I helped him. Not sure where to go at this point. Um, I'm gonna take a little break. Yes, I took my uh, be right back screen off. <laughs> All right. So I mean, I can. F I'm. I kept thinking this particular quest line was gonna be over by now. After the pet, it's not. I'm enjoying it. It's just I'm like on five different quests right now. What business have you? All right, so I have to do Okay, she was slowed down trying just trying to fish. Okay. 
Looks like some folks are sped up. These giant cabbages. Wait, come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. Okay, I thought I had to chase him down. I'm like, are you kidding me? Well, it sucks that he's kind of frozen. And why he's trying to chase a rabbit, I don't know. Alright, looks like there's one more. Going backwards. Hey! You again. Wait, have we met? Stananormu. Be seeing you! Hey, Ogosa. Cabagos. We met Cabagos. Are you goes before? All right. is secure. Seems the metronographer worked just as intended. How interesting that temporal energies are so similar to music. I wonder if the bronze dragonfly has ever conducted research on the subject. However, sorry. That's what, sorry, rambling. <laughs> Let's just get back. Let's just get back to helping tempo. My next paycheck depends on it. Yeah. Clear. Feats per minute. Alright. One last problem. Okay, here we go, finally. One last and you get the gilded sunglasses. One last I knew that there's an item to get at the end of this. Alright, one last problem to help solve. Succeed at this, and we surely have earned an audience with tempo. The investigators discovered another time slime. A much larger, powerful time slime. We've come to call it Time Slime Prime. Its temporal energies are greatly accelerated, making it especially deadly. I recommend using the metronographer several times to slow it back down before engaging in combat. Resynchronize and defeat the time slime prime. For some gilded sunglasses, hell yes! Is it the, so the future is so bright, I gotta wear shades. Build it, test it, deploy it. Okay, so it's, this will be the end of this this one. A pet so far, an appearance. Hedgy, you literally, literally. I'm moral support. What is it? I missed all the stuff they were saying. Um, don't worry. Just try not to break it. Okay, here we go. Sli Time Slime Prime is rampaging farther up this mountain. I'm the one who came up with the name Time Slime Prime, by the way. Pretty catchy, right? Yes, very. Please don't encourage him. It's too late. I'm encouraged. Meet you up there, Arlea. Oh, no thanks. I'm good out here. That's Peggy. They're basically saying now when we're up here. Melly Teletone says, Peggy, you literally haven't done anything this entire time. Peggy says, I'm moral support. 
Slime time prime. Time slime prime. Yells. 200 years of slime. It's still recharging. It's not ready. I need to get closer. Whoa! 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 What the F? No! What? Okay, clearly, clearly this is a strategy I did not use for this. And my understanding is I should use the, uh, to use it on it several times. I clearly one time was not enough. One time was not enough. That was kind of epic. And how fail that was. Wow, how far away am I? Ugh. Too damn far. Alright. And I still I gotta do the daily. But they changed life. these too! They made a lot of little tiny cosmetic changes. I'm just putting this aside for now. Yeah, they made a bunch of little cosmetic changes. Alright, let's try this again. Wait, why is it snowy? It's just the wrong area. Okay. This time I had help. I don't have a target. Okay. All right, I had help this time, so it went easier. Situation normal. Time for an equipment check. State your business. No, no, this is quite right. You were supposed to. Okay. Feats per minute. We will have justice. Ah, there you are. Thank you for your assistance in our time tidying efforts. Now I have to. Now I have to chant. Now I have. Now I have to a chance. Now I have. That too shouldn't be there. Now I have a chance to speak with Peggy himself. Truly, what an honor. It was so difficult holding, holding myself back when the first approached me. But now I have plenty of time to speak with him. Be ready for anything. Thank you for your help. I heard all the work you have done. Is there anything I, I can help with? So, um, uh, hi, my name is Peggy, and I'm, oh, I know who you are. I, you do? Of course, I'm a huge fan of your work. Really? Which of my pieces is your favorite? Uh, I don't think you've written it yet. Best keep at it, hmm? <laughs> Thank you for landing that on, like, So how was it I was, I can help you. I think you've done enough. Um, we did it together as a family. Sure, Peggy. Hey, Arlea, once you're done wiping the slime off your weapons, come talk to Tempa with us. 
Okay, I'm guessing that was from before. He's walking away with a little heart over his head. Our enemies will fall. I'm actually wandering off too. It's probably gonna disappear. All right. So. Where am I supposed to talk to Alex Straza? Okay, so he goes back here. Yep, he goes back in there and then disappears. All right. So, on our list, I'm not doing the spike leads. I'm not checking Volt of the Incarnates. Or Shred of Insanity, for that matter. Um, what I need to get... Wow, it's 10.30ish. And already I'm kind of like not near where I need to be. Um, so two. That's the spiked leaves. Check on Alex Shraza. Oh, she's at... Alex Shraza's at... Ruby Life Pools. Okay. Before I do that, we're going to do the daily here. And eventually I will remember where the heck, where the heck the place I need to go to is. I think it's up here. Nope. I... I forget where it is. Where is... I need to know where Bob is. It's where Bob is. Where's Bob? Oh, wait. Is this it? Yes. Yes, this is it. All right. Let me make note of this location. Okay, it's just south of here. So, here's our daily. What are we doing? If you want something done, Because this I is, this is part of how we get it. our goodies. Willowmans. Okay, Jaina Proudmore has found a magic wand. Not our Jaina, of course, but her childhood self. She's far too young to have access to such powers. We need you to help clean up the mess. She's made and confiscate the wand. Dispel eight polymorphed creatures and confiscate Jan Jaina's wand of mass polymorph. Then we get 70 paracausal flakes. Please, I really hope these don't end up in my bag. I still have to actually make these toys. So. I'm just moving stuff around. My two, my two little things. I'm not going to spend like forever doing this, but. Actually, I've restored obsidian keys in here. Like that I've already made from combining these two. Plus, I've got all these marks. I don't know why I'm saving them. Um, I think... No, these are soulbound. That's soulbound. These are not. Alright. I guess if I ever need extra rep for some reason. Buzzing rooms. So much junk in the bags. 
so much time. So much. But I got two slots back. Oh, wait. There is much to do. I didn't, I don't even see where they are. Uh, I'll find, I'll find some other point. Eh, no, I want to see them. Oh, okay. The frames are gilded. The frames are gilded. That's cool, that's cool. Alright. These pieces shouldn't actually be elsewhere, but that's besides the point. Wow, I have a lot of pet bandages. I do need to consolidate those at some point. bank stuff. Alright. We're good. Um, let's do this. Greetings, adventurer. Except. Time is of the essence. This disguise will help you blend in while interior guard sound. It will also help also allow you to spell Gina's casting. Okay. Cool. So we go in here. Scenario, that's what they are. We do single. This is cool. I'm gonna try to get all the dailies on. But I'm, I'm happy we get it. We get a Gina. Culturis is home to many griffins. One will accompany you to skies. Harbor griffin? Okay. Wait. This is my great disguise? <laughs> I have a hat on? Yeah, I'm sure that will really that will completely hide me. Stay, sheep. Aww. Spells are so easy. Aww, let's look at little Jaina. Jaina. Oh, she's adorable. Look at her! Sheep can't be tattletales! Jaina? Jaina? Trying to figure out how on earth. Oh shit, Dalen. Just far too dangerous to use. Yes, father.
Okay, so Dalen shows up. Quick, uh, says, "That's enough." Who gave you that wand? And Jane is like, I was just having some fun. Dan is like, Jaina, you could have hurt someone. Magic is far too dangerous for you to use. Jaina says, yes, father. Question is, who gave her that wand? That's a good question. Anyway. Was I supposed to do something else? Okay, okay. And apparently I have to pick up a mount in BFA. What do you require? Wand of Mass Polymorph. Um, Jaina must not practice magic until she's old enough to handle it responsibly. I trust you put a stop to this before she before the situation becomes dire. I trust you okay. Continue. Time reveals all. Thank you for coming that chaos. I should have think what would have happened if she grew up with such tendencies. Yeah, complete. May time be kind to you. I saw at least one of those things go right into my bag. Um, encapsulate destiny. Use. Guaranteed that the next time rift you complete will grant you a reward. A fragment of possibility. Well, I'm definitely using that because... I haven't done that yet. Is it time already? All right. The sands flow eternal. All right. So actually, that's really super quick. Like even if I could go into the um, the mega dungeon tonight, it's the first night. If there are bugs, we know the time rift definitely is not, not well. <laughs> it's not well. It can't handle that many people doing it at once. It's either going to make it more often or, I, I don't know, it could have been the first one of the day, for all I know. Um, okay, let's see. Hold Aldon she. Ah, Alea, I assume no storm has sent you. Lil can never be hidden from him. I don't know. He's, he seems to not know a lot about what's going on at times. But anyway. I am alright, but a bit shaken. What happened? Fierce. Oh. After you forced us into slumber in that titan prison, you came to me. You heard me. Every word. You said it doesn't feel like a victory. Not without you. How could you say that? After everything, you were my dearest friend. And losing you to this conflict broke my heart. You promised me you would not force the Titan's will upon us. But the eggs, Alex Straza. You did nothing while your masters warped our children, still in the shell. That abhorrent act should never have happened and I regret my part in it every day your lies have grown sweeter honey to hear and poison to taste Viranoth you have always fought for the good of dragonkind 
but Eridacron does not. Vengeance is all he craves. Still so naive, Alexstrasza. Believing that the world we once shared still exists. It is gone. And so, yes, all that remains is vengeance. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, this ties into the, the novel that's coming out in the fall, but... I wasn't expecting that cutscene at all. Ooh, okay. This is trying to, why I try to do stuff before I knew the one else does it, and then post it online. Alright. <clears throat> Let's continue. I will listen. It grieves me to see Varanoth in such a dark place, but I still have hope that we will stand together as we once did. I have warned her about Eridicron. That is all I can do. The rest is up to her. Warp them in the egg. Treasure the gift you have been given. Um. Greetings. Well then. So, if you don't know, um, in the book that's coming out, uh, it could be a spoiler if you really know which parts of the whole thing is about this. Um, Alexstrasz and, and uh, Varanoth were, were friends. They were close. Um, um, they had a whole falling out because of what we're starting to find out a bit now. Um, we know that Titan forced their will. Um, the aspects, the ones that became the aspects, went along with it. Apparently there was a rift between Alexstrasza and Varanoth. And uh, Alexstrasza seemed to have opposed, from what I understand, something the Titans did? So... Interesting. Because um, up until this point, she's been all sort of gung-ho... Yay, Titans. Tears, awesome. Jeez, he's a watcher, but still. Um, but he's the one that made them, too. Right? Yes, I think so. Yes. So, yeah. 